find out what is happening at the library from virtual programming to fun new services. Hear recommendations on books, movies, TV shows, and so much more. This is in the stacks at Mustang Library. Introducing Binge Boxes, one of Scottsdale Public Library's newest collections. Binge Boxes are packs of movies that center around a common theme, genre, or actor. They rent for three weeks, are renewable, and you can easily search for them in our catalog. Want to see all of our binge boxes? Go to our library homepage at scottsdalelibrary.org, click on the search box, and type in binge box. This will bring up all of the binge boxes that we currently have in the catalog. As you can see, we have over 30 of them. Want to know what titles are in each one? Go ahead and click on one, and under the summary, it'll bring up all of the movies contained in that binge box. For example, this one has American History X, The Green Mile, The Last Castle, Law Abiding Citizen, and The Shawshank Redemption. If you'd like to place a hold on this, go up to the right-hand part of the page and click Place Request. This will ask for your library card number and your PIN, and that's all there is to it. So check out a binge box today. We've got the movies, you bring the popcorn. Hi everyone, welcome to In the Stacks. Today we are going to show you how to use this basic book folding pattern like we did back in October to make a Frankenstein and a pumpkin. And this time we're going to put a twist on it with a holiday version. And we're going to turn our book folding into a snowman and a reindeer. So stay tuned, we'll show you how to get started. Okay, so the first step is to find an old book that you don't want. And when choosing an old book, you want to have a paperback book preferably, and roughly one with about 200 pages. And I've also found that if you choose a book that has the thicker pages in it, it does help the stability when you stand it up and when you start adding all your embellishments and decorating it. So the first step is to open the book and take your first page and you're basically just going to fold the page, each page, into the spine of the book. And I use just like a marker to use as a, a creasing tool, it helps in folding. And you're going to do this for every page in the book. And this is where I find leaving the cover on initially kind of helps with the stability and gives you kind of a little of an easier platform when you're folding the pages. So go ahead and leave it on. Um, we will be removing it in the end. So do this for every page in the book. And when you get done, it's gonna look something like this. So this is one with all the pages that have been folded in. And the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and glue it together with hot glue in the spine. Okay, so we are back. We have got our hot glue gun heating up and we're gonna go ahead and glue the spine of the book. So depending on how rigid your spine may be on your book, you may have to just manipulate it a little bit by bending it in. And so just take it, as you can see, all the pages are folded. So we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're just gonna squirt a good amount of glue into the spine of the book and that's all there is to it. Once you do that, set it back up and fold it in together so you want to make a perfect circle like that and as you know hot glue doesn't take long to dry but I find it helpful if you just take a paper clip or two and just clamp the two sections together and hold it until it takes shape so let's do that we will wait a couple minutes and then we will come back Okay, so before we get started on embellishing or book folding, I want to show you how this basic design can be customized for whatever holiday that you're shooting for. So if you're familiar with In The Stacks or any of our previous virtual programs, um, back at Easter time we took the same fold and we made an Easter bunny out of it, just using pipe cleaners. Uh, a pom-pom, some googly eyes, and then as well we put some pipe cleaners on the ears. So that's one version. 
And then just recently on In the Stacks, we showed you how to do the Frankenstein for Halloween and also the jack-o'-lantern. And both of these, we did use a marker on the outside to give a, a little bit of a tint. Um, so again, you can adopt this to whatever holiday that you're shooting for. Now, this is our model reindeer and it has felt antlers. But if you don't have felt or you don't have construction paper or you just don't think you're creative enough to draw an antler, then you can do some other things like branches on the ground. I just found these dead branches and I just picked off the leaves and I glued them. Now when you're gluing this, you do want to make sure that you get them pretty close to the spine um, so that they can stick up. So let's go ahead and finish this off. I got some googly eyes here, so I'm just going to glue these on to give the reindeer some eyes. So we'll hold that together for just a second just like that and then Rudolph of course needs a red nose so I do have a red pom-pom but again if you don't have a pom-pom you can use cotton you can use paper whatever you can find around the house okay so there's his nose and that's your finished reindeer now one thing you can do like we did on some of the others if you want to give it a little bit of a tint you can use a marker and, and just kind of go along the spine with it and put some color on it. And I did do that a little bit just to give it a little bit of color. Now, another version of this that you can do besides the reindeer is a snowman. And this one, what we did is we took Christmas ribbon and put it along the bottom and frayed it a little to make it look like a little scarf. You could actually just use a real scarf or a piece of material if you have that, that would look great. And for the face, we just used circles. Again, we had felt, but you could use construction paper, paper or even just use a marker if you're at a loss and you don't have a lot of supplies. Um, we did use an orange piece of felt for the carrot nose. The hat on the top, I got lucky because I was in the dollar store and I found this ornament that looked exactly like a hat. And so we just glued that on the top and that was perfect size. If you don't have a hat or you can't find something, you can use like a Dixie cup and paint it black or mark it black and glue it on top and that makes a perfect top hat. So that's it for this edition of In the Stacks. I want to thank everyone for joining me today and attempting this holiday book folding craft. If you do have finished products, we would love to see your pictures on our Facebook page, so please feel free to post them. Have a great holiday season, everyone. See you next year.